I want adventure in the great white somewhere. I do. I do want adventure in the great wide somewhere. Me too. Where's that song from? It's from uh, Beauty and the Beast, right? Yes. Because she wants adventure in the great wide somewhere. And I do too. There's a girl as cool as me, never has to pee. <laughs> She'd explode. Bosh Kala Shrine. Go Man, away. Those guys are annoying. Yeah, they come out at night because they're like bats. Baseball bats. Um, I know a man who had a bat in his belfry, for real. A belfry? Well, okay, I may have added ad-libbed the belfry. <laughs> okay. But he had a bat in his attic. Why don't they name a stone after me? Yes. Because there's not really many new stones, and all the stones have been named. What color of a stone would I be? Uh, brown. I would not be brown. Not like a gross brown. No, I want to be orange. That's already amber. No, amber's more of a honey color. And honey can be orange, so... I'm I'm telling you to shut up and listen. Oh. I want to be a vibrant, invigorating orange. Well, I'm sorry, but that's already been taken. No, it hasn't. Yes, it has. No, it hasn't. Put up a picture of an orange rock on screen right now. Look at that. You are such a sassafras. That's what they call me. Don't wear it out. Oh. <laughs> I messed up. Yeah, because you were too busy sassing. No! That's the penalty right uh, there. Link is dead. I'm going to tell you right now, if you sash your mom, that kind of thing's going to happen. I guarantee it. Well, I mean, it just happened, so I can't argue with no, you. No, you can't. I and want you shouldn't, to. And you shouldn't anyway. I really want to, but I will not for the sake of prosperity kindness. Hey, now that was a good word. Prosperity? No, kindness. No, I did it again. And we're slowly descending into our doom. Why do you like to die? I didn't do, like Do you to. like to sail into death? Is is that is it soothing way to die? Is, is that it? I mean, the feeling of dirt on my skin feels pretty good. Uh, there's good stuff in the dirt. There is really good stuff. And you know what? Probably. Our dirt in our community is the best dirt in the world. Uh, I don't know about that. Yeah, things grow just exponentially exponentially yeah that's what i said <laughs> it's not but it is um oh. for example here let me give you an example yeah i bought three peony roots that's right roots whoa and they're dried up nasty looking things but that's i read nice. the package and it said if i buried it just the right way in three years i would have peonies Wow. So the first year, I'm not going to lie, it was pitiful. It was like just little sticks sticking through the ground. Uh -huh. But I watered it and I nurtured it. I even sang to it. She kissed him a couple times, too. You weren't supposed to tell that part because now they think I'm a lunatic. Oh, my bad. Anyway, she didn't kiss him. I did. <laughs> but anyway, so year two is now, okay? Yes. And I'm expecting maybe two or three sticks poking through the ground, right? Yes. No. I have leafy bushes. Leafy. Leafy? And they have blooms. They're not supposed to bloom until the third year. Like the, yeah. So we must have exceptional soil because these babies are rocking it. Or you just got like top tier high IV peonies. Or know? maybe I'm just such a good kisser that they decided <laughs> to grow up for some more. I see, she admitted it. She's kissing peonies. <laughs> Make sure you spell that out correctly. I made sure to pronounce it correctly. Okay. Oh, we're gonna have to fight bad guys all night. Yeah, we're gonna fight a lot of bad guys. Okay, in Link this game. needs his rest. He just rested. Oh, okay. So the number of the bad guys got us in the night. No. Oh, phew. This game isn't that evil. All right. Oh, there's the bad guys. They were campsite over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know why they just left this fire here. Oh crap! They got. I love that picture. Watch out! There's a million of them! <laughs> There's tons of them. And they're all like, fire! Watch Let's this, get some though. fire! <laughs> oh, boy! Oh, oh, that guy got hit by the camera. <laughs> <laughs> we went up his back. We did. All right, well, Ooh, everything's on fire you now. You go, Link. Oh, hey one more. We unlocked the chest. Hooray! Hooray! If this is just a rock, I'm going to be upset. No, we'll just be thankful that we survived that brutal attack <laughs> and we got to light up a stone whatever. A stone chest. What's inside? Oh, there is something inside. Oh, a soldier's bow. 
Ooh, we could use one of those. Well, hot dog, I'll take that. We sure will. I'll take that any day of the week. He hit you right Stop into the water. Are now. you going to drown? I could, but I I got out in time. Thank goodness. You needn't fear for my well-being now, well, mother. I do. I do. All right, time to open this chest. Oh, he's got pretty little purple eyes. Well, now he's got yellow eyes. Oh, is that good? Yeah, that means it's unlocked. Oh, well, we like it when it's unlocked. We do, we do. What's inside? I like that sound when it clicks. Open. Freaking rock. Oh, well, we don't want oh. I don't want your freaking We want a test rock stone. Is. We want the test stone that's bright orange. A red rupee. A green rupee. A rupee doopy doo. <laughs> <laughs> <Ray. laughs> right, right, rupee. <laughs> I like when you say it like that. <laughs> <laughs> Rut row raggy. Exactly. Uh, is that a frog swimming? No, that's me. No, not I know who you are. Oh. Uh, There's a fish. Why is it sideways? Is it dead? Yeah. We'll cook it on a fire sometime. Did eventually. You, did you capture it? Yeah. I mean, it's not that hard to catch a dead fish. Well, what I'm saying is I don't see it. Did you put it in a pouch or something? Yeah. Okay, you see this little hole? Yeah. You see this big boulder? Yeah. We push the boulder into the hole. Okay. It's, this is a secret little puzzle. And out comes a Korok. What's a Korok? Oh, I'm one of those. A little leaf tree guy. Well, hey, dude. How's it going? He flies, huh? Yeah. Are you can see me? I didn't know you can could see the children of the forest. Well, what? if you run into Hutsu, please return this to him. That was a good voice. Oh, and my friends are hiding in lots of different places, too. Don't be shy about poking your nose into suspicious places. I don't know about that. There's some places I don't want that my nose. That was a really good voice, Hunter. Thank you. I mean, it really suited him. It's from all the time I practiced Jar Jar Binks when I was but a wee little lad. Well, uh, here's what I don't like. Waiting builds character. It does. No, it does not. It, it does. No. Waiting builds frustration. Frustration and, can lead to violence. And frustration builds character. No, it doesn't. Whether that's a good character or a bad character uh, depends on the individual who's frustrated. Well, but it I'm still trying builds. to learn to be patient. But I, I gotta tell you, I struggle with it. I'm sorry if that disappoints people out there. I'm disappointed beyond belief. Oh, don't. You're gonna hurt my <laughs> I'm feelings. Just kidding, I'm, I'm just not. trying to be real. I'm not disappointed in you. Good, because it doesn't really matter. <laughs> oh, well, okay, well, now I am. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. So many bad guys. So little time. So it seems like all we do is get rid of bad guys. Basically, when do we have we? time for fun? Uh, when we're dead. You can't have fun when you're dead. I mean, I guess you can, but you don't know what heaven's like. No, they they won't let me in. <laughs> <laughs> Not by the hairs of my chinny chin chin. I've knocked at the door a couple times. They refused me. I'm sorry that happened to you. Well, you know, not, I everybody, guess that means not everybody's going <laughs> to like you. You just got to handle that. I guess that would make it more of your fault if you didn't get let in. Well, you know? I think that I have more work to do is why I'm still here. Yeah, you've got unfinished business. I've got kindergartners to read to. I've got second graders to help sound out words. I have... Animals to maim. I have cousins to take care of when they have surgery. I have friends to take on retreats for their birthdays. You know, I'm, I'm a busy woman. You are, and that's a respectful, respectable thing. Look at this, another tower. I like towers. We must ascend it. Is it enchanted? Uh, no. Stop. Stop it. I was rolling down the hill at an unprecedented speed. And it was dangerous because I'm but a wee little lad. Or a wee little lad. And a wee little lad was he. He sat for his pipe, and he sat for his something, and he something did something, <laughs> some three. I love that nursery rhyme. Yeah, me too. It's one of my favorite. I still don't know what it means, but you know. But you know, you know, I'm sharing it with you. It's still pretty Gucci. That, that's a memory that we'll always have. <laughs> now put it this away. This kind of reminds me of the sound of music. Those are alive with, with the, the sound, sound of, of music. music. Look, we filled out more of the map. Wow, look at us. It's a big map. It's the map, it's the map, it's, it's the, the map, map, it's the map, map it's the map. map, it's the map, it's the map, map, map. Oh, that Sheikah sensor is very annoying. 
that really is annoying. How do you stop it? Uh, go to the shrine, I guess. I wonder if I can turn that off. A lot. Oh crap! A lizardo. What, what's all that stuff in the water? Uh, they're lizard folk, and they're very mean. Uh oh. Going to avoid them. Ooh. See this different looking wall? Yeah, it looks like poop. <laughs> okay, well we're gonna blow this poop out of the water. I mean, don't you think it looked like a and pile look. of giant poop? It did look like the thing that guy stuck his hand in in Jurassic Park. Yes, it looked exactly uh, like that. Elizalfos. Oh wait, is that one of those lizard people? Yeah, I blew him up. Did he come out of the poop? Nah, he, he just followed us. From Tewator. Those things ah, are horrifying. Stay Ugh. away! Run, Link, run! I mean to only visit the clan of ancients. Oh, he just whipped you with his tail. Well, those are more like, um... Raptors? Chameleons? No. Yes. I would sell him for a chameleon dollars. <laughs> chameleon dollars. <laughs> I just thought of that too. I'm so smart. I really like that. <laughs> I want to be able to work that into a conversation tomorrow at work. <gasps> we'll be counting, so I'll be able to put that in. Man, this guy sent in uh, a chameleon dollars. A million dollars. <laughs> but I wonder if it's as funny if there's not a chameleon hanging around. I think it's still pretty funny. Okay, I'm going to try it. But that's just because I came up with it. Well, yeah, but I got a big kick out of it, so hopefully. Their other audience will be as easy as me. <laughs> Better a big kick than a big punch. Ah ha 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 I found the shrine that was making our thing go off. Thank God. Yay! Now we gotta do it. Do, do it what? to it. The shrine. Okay. It's a little puzzle Pools dungeon. Pools of malice. Poisonous bogs. What are we getting ourselves into? A hillian adventure of ancient debris and such. Oh, oh I didn't do it. Oh, you time. messed that one up, dude. And maybe if I do it later. Oh, oh, you got robbed on that one. It bounced off the edge. You're not good at these little puzzles. I'm great at the puzzles. I solved the constellation one when I was a young boy. A fairy in your pouch. It will <laughs> automatically <laughs> restore. What? If oh, you, your heart. If you have a fairy, it basically is an oh. extra life. Well. <laughs> yeah. Just keep a fairy in your pouch. Then you won't be a slouch. Put a fairy in your pocket, clap your hands. <laughs> if you put a fairy in, in your, your pocket, pocket, clap your hands. I would clap, if but I have If you put a fairy in your pocket and you really want to <laughs> lock it, put a fairy in your pocket and clap your hands. Clap, clap. There we go. And tell me what to yes, do. Yes, I can. I'm your I'm mother. I'm a 23-year-old man. And you live in my house. And I play video games. And I'm the mother. Ah, you've, you've always got that one. I know. I'm. I always, and I'm always gonna have it because you're always gonna me. be my son. It's driving me crazy. Well, I don't care. It's bottom line. I am the mother. What is the bottom line? Why do we always bring it up? You know. That means we've done everything else, and the last <gasps> thing is we have a boomerang. I love the boomerang weapon. Do you know how to use the boomerang? Yes. And you don't hit yourself. Hmm. Still working on that. See? Okay. I can't I... make it come back, but I cannot catch it. Just like when you guys threw the boomerang on the <laughs> roof next door. Yeah, we never got it back. She, she never was mean. would let us have it. She was very mean. Well, that's what happens when you don't know how to use a boomerang. Oh, it's I Beetle. Love traveling folk. Look, it's Beetle. Who's Beetle? A traveling merchant with the crop top for some reason. Yeah, that's not a good look. <laughs> He's from uh, Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. There's a. Beautiful Hillian woman ah. just staring at the shrine. Well, why don't we, like, talk to her? Because I don't... She's just going to talk about getting to the shrine, and I already know how. Talking to people is a waste well, of God time. Well, God forbid that you have an interaction with somebody and... Precisely. I'm glad you possibly understand. Possibly help them. She doesn't need it. I'm... Okay, if she gets in the shrine, then she takes my treasure. You know? Well, how's it your treasure? Because I got here first. See? Uh, see how it works. Yeah. Another shrine! Another shrine. There's like 200 of these in the game. Oh, only 200? Yeah. <laughs> this game takes... What a small number. This game takes roughly 40 to 50 hours to beat. Are you kidding me? It's a big one. You can beat it way faster. Elixirs? Can... Are we going to get some elixirs? I have no idea. I did not read it. 
I wish you would read them. I was busy. Look. I always get bits and pieces. I was busy trying to talk to you and feed you information. Okay, well now I want to know about elixirs. Uh, the elixir of life makes you full of strife. That I don't good? want that one. Look, you can also... I want the one that makes me young and beautiful. Even oh. though I'm 60. Even though Although she's 60. Although I have 60. had several people tell me that I look nothing like a 60-year-old. Can someone make a compilation of how many times she's brought up her birthday and age? That is not nice. <laughs> that is not nice at all. I am trying to embrace being old. It's not easy. You're doing a good job. Well, I was until you got snotty. <laughs> anyway, if you know any old people, I'm, I'm seriously telling you, say something kind to them. Tell them they're pretty. Tell them that they're sweet. Tell them that you like to spend time with them, you like to hear their stories, because they want to feel like they're still a part of your life and that they're still there. Unless it's someone you don't know. Yeah, be, be careful approaching strangers and telling them they're beautiful and that you want to spend more time with <laughs> Old them. Old people are a roll of the dice. Yeah, it's it's kind of <laughs> dice, yeah, he's right. There's some psychopaths, but there's also very sweet people. Exactly, so just be careful. Unless you go to Walmart, then it's like mostly psychopaths and yeah, drug dealers. It, Yes, that is true. I was in the dog tree aisle, okay, minding my own business. Uh huh. And this woman, I said to her, Have you noticed that the dog treat that stuff has gone up? Okay, one question. Yes. How are you minding your own business if you started the conversation? Because she was in the aisle. And I can't not talk to people. Okay, then you're not minding your own business. No, I was. She happened to be in my aisle. And you initiated the conversation, thus because making... Because she was in my aisle. It's not yours. It was. Okay, continue. Anyway, <laughs> so I said, have you noticed that these have gone up in price? And she's like, well, see, you need to get them the dog cookies. I'm like, cookies? Cookies? What? So she's, she's like, hold on a second. So she tells me that her husband got high the other night and got the munchies and so he ate a whole package of dog <laughs> cookies because he thought they were people cookies. That poor guy. This is why you shouldn't get high. Yeah. You don't know what you're going to do. You could do way worse than dog cookies. So I think that you should just eat the dog cookies and forget the pot. <laughs> that, that's my <laughs> advice. Because I ate. So she insisted that I buy the cookies and try and trick someone in my family into eating them. But I, I can't do that because I'm too excited. I'm going to get to the punchline. So I'm like, here's dog cookies. Just eat them. <laughs> so my husband and I each ate one. And I've got to tell you, they were pretty tasty. Aw, uh, we can't pet the dog. Oh, he'd probably give really good kisses, too. But look, there's also oh, rams. Oh, big sheep. And chickens. I like it. Where are we? I love this place. We are at a stable. Well, we should stay at stables look. more often. Look at the horses. I think we can buy a horse. I want the black and white one. All right, let's see how much it costs. Thanks, Hunter. If that's how it works. <laughs> Welcome. Will you be staying with us? That was perfect. A regular bet will cost you 20 rupees and some bed is 40. Oh. Ooh, I don't want a hard bed. A horse, not a bed. We want the horse. And I have just the... grab him and let's go. Ah, uh, I can't get the horse. Why? Because they didn't say. Just so. jump oh, on wait, him. another Indian man. Uh, Welcome to dueling what? Dueling Heights Rodeo. Nearly destroyed about one hundred years ago. Oh, uh, what? However, thanks to the blessings of the dueling peaks, everything is full of life again. Even the wild horses are back. There's a lot of energy in this place. So where are you headed? Both Kakariko Village and Hateno Village are nearby. Huh? Did you not see any horses on your way here? No. Certainly not as many as in years past, but there are still a quite a few around. Horses in the wild are, well, wild. <laughs> oh, imagine that. No one has trained or cared for them, and they oh, are very so ugly and disgusting. Okay, you can stop talking now, sir. I have a horse to- Oh, look, a donkey! <gasps> they bite you, though. I don't want a donkey. You look sweet. That's what you thought about the one that bit your thumb. That's true, too. Let's see if we can find a wild horse on our way to... Hunter I, there's a wild horse. Monkey, I'll be just honest with you. Monkeys kind of terrify <laughs> you, me. You want the black and white horse? Yeah. All right. Good. Oh, gosh, you did it! Hunter, that was amazing! Oh, shoot. I'm, no, I haven't caught it yet. I'm trying to... Come on. Love me, love what? me, love me, love me. Say that you love me, horsey, horsey. Horsey, horsey, he love loves me, you. love me. Not he yet. Will. He will. 
Come on, Black and White Horsey. Love him. Is he mine? Hey, I think Is he's... he ours? Uh, we gotta go register him. Whee! Oh, that is so beautiful. I mean, it looks like that's a real horse moving. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That is pretty amazing. I think they motion captured it. Well, they did a great job because it looks real. This will be our steed for the rest of the game. I love him. What are you going to name him? It's your horse. You get to name him. Oh, pink. Out of my way. Welcome to my stable with the on all things horse related. We also double as an inn. Huh? I haven't seen your face before. You ugly, bro. You know about the stable system? No. Yes, just I do. A horse. Yes, I do. Oh, pardon me. Let me start over. Welcome to our stable. If you come with a wild horse, you can register it with us here. Or if you want to stay for a rest, please head to the counter inside. Or uh, register horse. Gotcha. Or <gasps> it's a new horse. Hooray! Yay! How much does it cost? Oh, 20 rupees. We've got 21. <whistles> Woohoo! We now are poor, but we have a horse. All right, what do you want to name your horse? You got um, nine letters. Oh, okay. Let me think. Uh, Make it good. Oh. Okay, it's got to be something magical because we're in a game. Biggest decision of your life. If you I screw know. it up now, it's all downhill. Okay, you gave me too much pressure. <laughs> um, or so? No. Your so? No. What about Steam? Would you shut up so I can think? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Cobalt. Oh, that's a great name. Thank you. Oh. When I'm not being bullied, I can come up with decent names. Registration is complete. Would you like your new horse with you? Yes, I will take him to Kakariko with me. Oh, we got a saddle. Yeah, he's all registered. Oh, he's all ours. He's our little. I I'm gonna just be honest. I've always wanted my very. Now you've got I have one. one. Yay! And his name Cobalt. 